Hello all, my name is Balaji and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk to you and discuss to you about BERT. So first of all, we will understand what BERT is. BERT has given phenomenal results in a lot of NLP tasks. So NLP tasks, what are the NLP tasks we will see. So first, uh, some, of the, some of the examples for NLP tasks are sentiment analysis, uh, where you can basically find whether a given, uh, uh, given piece of text is, is, is a positive sentiment or a negative sentiment. For example, uh, for example, if we have restaurant reviews, uh, if someone says the food is good, then it's a positive review. If someone says the food is bad, then it's a negative review. And that is, uh, we can we can apply that uh, same application to a lot of other uh, other products as well. So that is sentiment analysis. And second, we have text classification. Uh, for example, uh, you have a whole bunch of uh, you have a whole bunch of news and you need to classify whether this belongs to a political news, whether this belongs to a sports news or whether this belongs to uh, cinema news, something like that. You, you, can, you can basically classify those text pieces of text sentences uh, based on what they convey. So that is text classification and uh, third one we have next sentence or next word prediction for example. So next word prediction is something like uh, we have for example. Uh, there is a beautiful, uh, there is a beautiful, uh, then we can have a blank here and basically bird can predict what would be, would be the word here uh, based on the previous context. So this is called uh, next word prediction. For example, here it could be there is a beautiful uh, flower or something like that. There is a beautiful flower or something like that. And uh, we also have uh, question answering systems, uh, basically chatbots. So this also uh, is one of the applications that we can work with BERT. And uh, the other uh, thing, uh, and uh, the other beautiful thing about BERT is, uh, BERT was developed by Google. Uh, so that is one of the uh, facts. And uh, after that, uh, the success behind the BERT, how BERT is able to uh, give phenomenal results for all of these NLP tasks. And there are also a lot of other tasks that we can work on, so I'll just put and so on. Uh, so, how BERT is able to give phenomenal results for all of these tasks? We will now uh, dive deep and understand how BERT is able to do that. So, BERT is basically able to do that uh, with something called as context based model. Uh, BERT is a context based model. So, because of this, because of this phenomenon, BERT is able to give uh, state of the art results to all of these tasks and many more in the NLP world. So, what is context based model? So to understand context based model, first we should understand what is context free model. So first of all, we will see what is context free model and based on that, we will see what is context based model. I will explain you about context free model and also context based model based on couple of, uh, based on an example of couple of sentences. So let's now uh, take an example uh, where I will take two sentences as example, sentence A and then sentence B. So let's say uh, sentence A, we have he got. He got bit by a python and in sentence B we will have python is a programming language, programming language, okay. So based on the uh, looking at both of the sentence, we as humans understand uh, this python is basically different from this python. Uh, the python here refers to a snake. Whereas the Python here refers to the programming language that uh, we as engineers and scientists use. Uh, so this, uh, this, this understanding, we know how this works, uh, but we need to make sure the machine understands uh, this one. So if we take uh, some of the embeddings like word to vec, uh, word to vec, word to vec basically gives uh, the representation of each word, uh, but it is not depending on the context. Uh, word to vec would basically give the same embeddings for this python as well as this python. So both of these pythons will not carry the context contextual information of the previous sentences or the preceding sentences. Whereas BERT is able to give that. BERT is able to give the uh, different embeddings for this python and this python because the way this python is used here is completely different from the way the python is used here. So this is the, this is called as context, context based. So it is depending on the context of the sentence, whereas uh, the algorithms like word to vec is not dependent on the context. So that is where uh, BERT was doing phenomenally and it was giving a lot of uh, state of the art results. So now let's see how this works. 
So let's take the sentence A as an example. What uh, the basic idea behind BERT is that BERT. Uh, so let's let's take this sentence as an example now. So what BERT does is BERT basically compares every single word in the sentence with itself with with every other word in the same sentence. For example, here we have he got bit by a python, and similarly uh, we'll write the same here on the right side as well. So bit by a python. So here we have python, right? So how this python relates to every other word in the sentence, we'll see. So here we have he is compared with python and bit got is compared with python, bit is compared with python, by is compared and a and similarly this python is also compared with python. Now what happens is what happens here is that this bit would have a different uh, level of comparison. So I am drawing this line thicker than the other lines. Uh, because this is one of the important words, uh, bit is one of the important words that helps us understand uh, how Python is related to the sentence, how how Python as a, is is related to the context of the sentences. Uh, so here with this word, we can we can easily predict that Python Python is a, is a snake and not a programming language. Here similarly, this Python would be relating to this programming and language more than these two words. So in that way. We can we can get the contextual information of of every word every other word in the sentence. So this is how uh, Bird is able to give us some of the phenomenal results, and we'll dive deep into how these words and how uh, how Bird is able to uh, how Bird is able to extract that information uh, by comparing with the other words in the sentence. Uh, I'll upload that information in the upcoming videos. So till that. Uh, please stay tuned and please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.